Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Domenica and welcome to my channel. Tonight for dinner, I'm going to be making something that I haven't made before. Um, I got the idea from my husband and he was describing it to me, so I'm just gonna kind of uh, wing it with what I have in the pantry. It is a soup that's basically with potato, onion, and some mini pasta shells. And if you're of Mexican heritage, you will know what I'm talking about, but this was kind of a first for me. I don't, you know, I wasn't familiar. Let me show you what I use. So I'm going to be using a sweet onion. I did have some potatoes in the fridge, so I'm going to be chopping those up, and some plain uh, tomato sauce. The pasta shells that I'm using are Italian, but they are the mini pasta shells. And then for seasoning, I will be using caldo de pollo and some oregano. Okay, so I have a little bit of vegetable oil heating up in my pan. I'm not making a big batch. I'm just making enough pretty much for two people, maybe a little bit as a leftover. Um, I did finally chop half of a sweet onion. So I'm going to start with that. If you have a white onion or a brown onion, go ahead and use it. I just happen to have a sweet one on hand. I'm just going to stir this around. And basically let it wet for a little bit. And, and then the potato that I used, I had baby potatoes. Um, it's what I had on hand, so that's what I'm using. You can use any kind of potato, baking, uh, red skin, yellow skin. I, I don't really think it matters for this. Um, at least I don't see why it would. And then you want to dice it kind of on the fine side. I'm going to let this cook for about a minute before I add the potato. So now that my onion has been cooking for a couple of minutes, I'm going to add my potato. I did not peel them. Um, the skin on this was very thin, so I did not even bother. You're going to stir that around again just to get everything kind of coated. And I am going to be adding a little salt. And I don't want to add any more oil, so I'm going to be adding a little bit of water just so that it doesn't stick and I'm gonna cook this also for maybe another minute or two Okay, so now I'm going to be adding a little bit of um, just plain tomato sauce. And I probably used about um, maybe a third of a cup to a half a cup. Just until it's incorporated and then I will be adding additional water. Um, and then in a couple of minutes, as soon as this comes to a boil, I'll be adding my pasta. 
So this is not quite boiling yet. However, you do see a little bit of bubbling around the edges. Um, I'm going to be adding the chicken bouillon seasoning. So I use plain water and I'm adding this to it. However, you can use chicken stock or chicken broth if you have it on hand and just omit this. Um, I'm going to be starting off with about a teaspoon and then I'll taste it and then I'll probably add a little bit more. And the reason that I'm adding it before it starts to come to a hard boil, I just want it to steep in the water a little bit longer. I'm going to add a little bit more, so I think it'll come up to about a teaspoon. And that should be good. I will have measurements listed below in the description box, just in case you were interested. Okay, so this is almost ready. It probably has another minute or so to go. It's been simmering for a few minutes. Um, the shells are pretty small, so they, they're not going to take a lot of time. If you don't find the mini pasta shells, because they can be difficult, unless you go to the ethnic foods aisle in your market, you may, you may be able to find it there. If not, just use angel hair pasta and break them up um, so that they're, they're smaller, like cut pasta. So I'm going to take a pinch of oregano and just break it up in here. I happen to really like oregano, so if I offend anyone by putting this in, I apologize. And I'm just going to let this simmer for another minute and then I will plate it. Okay, so basically in a bowl, and I did taste it, it is really good, it's really nice. And I happen, again, to like the oregano. On the side, I have some Oaxacan cheese. And this is basically like a string-type cheese. But it does come in a ball or, like, twisted together. And you just slice it into chunks, serve it on the side. Um, maybe, I don't know, radishes if you have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the recipe, I will have a description below of what I did. And it is supposed to rain this week, I believe starting tomorrow into Wednesdays. So with cold weather soup, you can't really go wrong. Especially if you just have like the bare essentials in your house, like pasta, potato. Like you can make this with just a few different ingredients um, using what you have on hand. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.